You have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy. Is he worthy? Is he worthy? Is he confidence today because of what you have spoken to us through your holy word, that the blood of Jesus Christ, your son, cleanses us of all sin, that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Remind us afresh and anew that Jesus has come to destroy the works of the devil. Lord, we don't have to live in a cycle of sin management. Lord, you have promised and provided for every believer total and absolute victory over sin. Lord, tonight we pray as, as Wesley wrote, take away our bent to sinning. Alpha and Omega B, into faith as its beginning set our hearts at liberty. Oh, we thank you, Father, for sending your Son and thank you, Jesus, for taking on flesh. Thank you for your atoning work at the cross as you shed your blood in our place. And we thank you that you rose again the third day and you conquered death, hell, and the grave. All glory and honor belongs to you. To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen.
that when we seek you, we will find you. And Lord, tonight we're asking God for your help. Oh God, we give you praise tonight, but Lord, we just ask, would you come and would you meet with us, Lord? God, throughout the rest of this convention, may your presence come down in every service. And Lord, speak to hearts. God, we often we often fail to ask you. We have not because we ask not. Oh God, we ask for your presence and for your spirit to just permeate our lives. Lord, may your presence be with us. As your word declares, now to him who is able, (laughs) to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we could ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him, to Christ, to be glory in the church, to Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever and ever. And can we say it together? Amen. Thank you, Jesus, you have saved.